Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome back to another practice session here from the League of Legends team at Cameron. And it looks like Cameron will be running Lulu, Echo, Azir, Ezreal, and Set against the enemy team, which decided to run Aatrox, Ivern, Akali, Jin, and Pike. Definitely some characters we haven't seen before. I mean, I've never seen really anybody run Aatrox or Pike. We do see quite a lot of Jin and Akali. Ivern, it's sort of, you know, half and half. I mean, especially the same here for Azir. We haven't seen anybody on Tamron play Azir yet, so that's going to be really interesting to see play out. Looks like both teams are just going to be setting up in jungle here. No stress. Again, still the beginning of the fight. Uh, minions will spawn soon. For So for right now, I mean, all they really have to do is lay low. But it looks like Aatrox will find Lulu here right at the beginning. Both of them just exchanging blows, but nothing deadly. Both of them being forced back into their spawn to get the health back. But it's fine, Lulu gets to walk back with her minions and this is gonna give them some time to start setting up on those lanes. Looks like the enemy team though is still gonna be camping jungle waiting for anybody to pass by. <laughs> Looks like Cameron will be as well, still waiting for those jungle monsters to start spawning. Looks like Ezreal will find Pike out there. He saw him through that grass, but it looks like Ezreal will be kind of disengaging for that fight. He wants to be hiding behind a set, and hopefully Cameron could find that kill on that Jin. Set still chasing after him, Jin doing his best to get away with one health. I mean, Set still hot on his tail, and it looks like Cameron University will be getting that first kill in this practice session onto Jin. Some nice teamwork there, you know, Set making sure to push up to make sure, sure that his Ezreal wasn't taking any of that damage from that gym. Looks like Pike will find Echo as well, but he does make sure to kind of push him away there. He doesn't want to get another kill here for Cameron University. Looks like Echo will be finding Pike though, and Pike though will get killed by him and the turret. Another kill found here from Cameron University, putting them in the lead 3 to 0. Azir doing his best to gain some ground onto a Kali mid lane as a nice airborne and stun is put on the Jin. Jin is one health, looks like Ezreal will find that kill, but unfortunately will get punished there by Ivern and that turret. Just got a bit too close. Set still doing his best to kind of fight and work his way out of this. this but Ivern is still, you know, ahead in health bar and he could easily be getting this punishment onto Set and it looks like he will. Looks like the enemy team will finally be taking some kills here from Cameron University, putting still Cameron University ahead by two kills. Lulu is well pushing Aatrox all the way up to his turret top lane. Looks like bottom lane as well, Set and Ezreal will be doing their best to gain some ground on the Pike engine. The Pike engine still have that advantage with the minions, so they don't want to go out too far. Ezreal wants to make sure he plays safe there with his teammate, but it looks like Echo and Lulu are doing their best to get some kills here top lane. Ivern doing his best to help out as well. Nice Ruth here on a set, but nothing to come of it. No damage from the enemy team. Looks like another stun there on a set. Set also getting airborne. He wants to make sure to be careful, but he's still going for those kills. Nice polymorph there by Lulu, and it looks like that's going to get her that kill on the Aatrox. Looks like Ezreal set Pike and Finn about even here in this fight. I mean, they're definitely looking for a kill here, and it looks like Ezreal will find it. 
set and getting out luckily with one health remaining. But it looks like Ivern's coming in to clean up the fight and to help this fight. Ezreal is doing his best to get some damage off. He knows they're probably going to go down there. And it looks like Pike will be finding that kill. Set getting stunned and Ivern finishing off that second kill onto set bottom lane. Some nice kills here from the enemy team, but Cameron University still in the lead here by two, six to four. Jin and Pike gaining some ground bottom lane. Probably gonna do some damage onto Cameron's turrets. Looks like Echo will catch out Pike, who is best to get some damage in, but it looks like he will get stunned and rooted. Some good CC from the enemy team, but it still gives Ezreal the chance to shut him down, and it looks like he will be getting that kill onto Pike. A truck still making sure that Lulu can't get as much ground as she really wants. Lulu still making sure to play safe, but it looks like Aatrox decided to go in, look for a kill, but now, I mean, he is a melee, Lulu is long range, this really isn't a fight he can win. Lulu doing her best to get that kill off, and it looks like she will find it. I mean, went into the danger zone with that turret, but was still able to find that kill onto Aatrox. Aatrox really just having a hard time fighting back against Lulu, who is long range. Looks like Set going in for a kill there on the Pike. It's a nice stun off there. Will pop his ult, but it looks like they won't be able to finish off Pike with Jin there to still help. Looks like Ivern coming in again. I need some nice jungling there from the enemy team. They're trying to clear off Set and Ezreal again. Ezreal doing his best to fight back to get that kill onto Ivern. An extremely cocky play, but it looks like Lulu will come in to help him out here. Honestly, a lifesaver. This could change the tides of the fight. Azir as well coming in from the back, getting that kill on the pike as well. It looks like Set will finish off Jin. Some nice teamwork here from Cameron University. And it looks like they will be going to jungle, hopefully. And that was extremely close. Almost got that kill onto Akali. Could have definitely been close to a team wipe there, but Akali did get away with one health. Looks like Echo's going in for that finish and he will get it, but unfortunately be punished there by Jin and that turret. When you're in a practice session, you can honestly make these risky plays. It's just more fun to watch. Uh, Cameron University though, still ahead, 12 to five, as well as gold production, 15.5K and the enemy team only at 12K. No turrets down though for either team so far. Looks like Pike though is doing his best to finish off the Ezreal. Set though waiting in the shadows to jump on him as well. I mean his teammate they're doing his best to come around and help him out. Jin just doing whatever he can to get some damage onto that set. Ivern again coming in from the, from the jungle to get some kills off. Set will find that kill onto Pike. He is one health and will get punished by Jin. Ezreal doing his best to play there in, in the middle between three of them. And it looks like Jin will unfortunately get that double kill. I mean Cameron University doing a great job at fighting back bottom. But as soon as that Ivern comes in the fight's over so they're gonna have to make sure to play extremely careful and away from that jungle area so they can make sure that they don't keep getting picked off by that ivern okay. ivern definitely the nvp here for the enemy team doing a great job at instilling teamwork with these randoms akali finally gaining some ground here on alulu decided to go top lane As it looks like Ivor here for the enemy team will be working on that dragon. Looks like Ivor will get that dragon for his team. As Azir is doing his best to get that Akali. A nice airborne, getting Akali back into Cameron. And it looks like Lulu will get that nice finish off.
but it looks like Cameron will get that Rift Carol as a trade-off for that dragon. They will be finding Set out here. A nice stun onto that Ivern as well, so he can't finish him off. And Ezreal is doing his best. He uses ult there to try and help his set out. He is getting traced right now by three of them. Looks like he decided to go in, get some damage off. Ezreal can't help him anymore. He's doing his best, but it looks like Set will get punished by Jin here. Ezreal left to fend for himself. He's doing his best to get back behind that turret, but he probably knows he's gonna get cut off here. I mean, this is what's been happening in the finals. We've seen it over and over again, and it looks like it's gonna be used against them, and unfortunately, he will go down, but he will take Pike with him, and a nice trade-off. Played it extremely smart. Looks like Echo will get caught out here too. I mean, all the enemies are about half health, so they're trying to play it smart here with how they want to attack Echo. As you're coming in to help his teammate, he sees what's going on. Nice job there from Echo from using that to heal up. Aatrox going in for that kill, but it looks like Azir will be finishing it off. Hopefully, he is one health, and it looks like he will find that kill on the Aatrox he was looking for. Azir, though, half health and stunned by that Pike, and that Pike will take that kill from him and will get a double kill as well. Nice comeback there from the enemy team from Pike. It looks like Set being airborne and pulled into the enemy team. He's doing his best to help out his Ezreal. And it looks like Ezreal will find that Pike doing his best to help his Set out here as he gets another airborne with... Honestly, Ezreal just becoming the MVP of this team fight, getting a nice triple kill with Lulu cleaning up Akali top lane. And it looks like that's going to be another team wipe here for Cameron University onto these randoms. Even for a practice session, they're really doing their best to go all out, and they're trying their hardest. Sure, you can make mistakes, it doesn't really matter when you're not giving up rank. All that matters is that you're having fun, but still winning. And it looks like Cameron University will be getting that first turret too. Cameron University now at 20 kills, so the enemy team's 11. And gold production here at 24.6k, 8k now, 9k, and the enemy at 19.2k. Ivern cornering set again, getting a nice airborne and pulling it in. And Ezreal doing his best again to help the set out. Looks like Lulu and Echo there to save the day, trying to jump on that Aatrox. Nice polymorph there by Lulu, and it looks like Lulu's gonna find another kill on the Aatrox with Echo still in the lead here, doing his best to jump in to get as many kills as possible. Nice TP out. He was about to get hit by those turrets, which can just be extremely deadly. They're doing their best to tank these shots from those turrets as they're just finishing off these kills onto these randoms. Nice root there and stun as well on the Ivern. He has one shot, and it looks like Set will find that kill and finish him off, though. Pike, though, however, shutting down and punishing Lulu for that. Pike, though, getting chased by Ezreal, pretty mad over Lulu's death, and it looks like they will still take that fight and get another turret there from the red team. Cameron University ahead by gold production by 6k and two turrets in our 23 to 12, maybe a bit more here, as Jin unfortunately gets a shutdown and gets a double kill. But it looks like Cameron will also find a kill on the Aatrox. 24 to 14 though, Cameron University still in the lead by 10 kills. With enemy Akali here still working on that top turret. With Lulu coming back though, she knows she has to move before Lulu is back to beat her butt. She feels it coming. I mean, at that point, when you've played enough of League, you kind of feel it when you know you have to move. But unfortunately, it looks like Akali might have not move fast enough. Lulu hot on her trail. Same here with Pike and Echo, but unfortunately, Pike will take the kill. But Lulu will trade it here for Akali. Looks like turret plating has fallen as well. Should give both teams some time to be more aggressive and push up. Looks 
like Pike getting caught out here around that dragon and he's doing his best to get away as fast as possible. Did not want to take that fight against Cameron. Two or three V1 does not look too good for him. As it looks like Aatrox has moved on to mid lane as his Akali has taken up top. Lulu pressuring that Akali top lane. Akali's trying to figure out a way to get some close range damage, but Lulu just absolutely dominating top lane with her long range DPS. Looks like Pike and Ivern will find out Set and Ezreal. Set coming in to help as Ezreal here getting chased by that Pike. Looks like Azir coming in to save the day as well, getting that kill onto Pike. Looks like the enemy team doing their best to disperse here with Set and Ekor doing their best to chase that Ivern. Looks like Jin will get a trade off here, but it looks like Cameron will still in the, be in the lead here with Set doing his best to finish off that Ivern. Ivern still at one health and he will find that kill. Jin here, last one left, and this team fight doing his best to run away, but with Echo hot on this trail, it looks like he might go down here. Actually, Echo might die. Nice TP out though to get some of that health back. However, unfortunately gets caught right in between Aatrox and Rooted. It looks like Aatrox will find that kill, but Set will also get that trade off. Sending most of the enemy team here back to spawn. Both teams getting some pretty good trades, but now score KD set at 28 to 17. Cameron at 28. 11 kills ahead here from the randoms. Gold production as well, 34.2k, as the enemy team has 29.2k. And now Cameron University has taken down two turrets here from the enemy team. And it looks like they will be working on that dragon as well. Set and Azir doing their best to kind of run away. They don't want to be caught in between Jin, Pike, and Ivern mid lane. I mean, it is a 3v3 right now. They could easily win, but if one word joins this match, they could be in the other team's favor. I mean, Akali joins now. It is a 4v3, and they still have that security of that turret, and it will make Cameron University disband. Looks like that random team finding out Cameron, but it looks like they're gonna leave them alone. Or at least for now. Looks like Pike will catch out Azir, and unfortunately Pike will finish that kill off on Azir as well, with Eco, Ezreal, and Seth still doing their best to get some type of comeback here onto the enemy team. Looks like Cameron will be getting another one of their turrets, but unfortunately Set will get stunned airborne and pulled in here, but will escape. Pike did his best to kind of jump in here and get some kills. Looks like Echo will leave this brigade, pushing the enemy team all the way back to that second turret. No longer having that first turret there mid lane to kind of hide behind. They're going to be pushed back almost to their spawn. Cameron University just being extremely aggressive. Cameron will be going in for that second turret there mid lane as well. Cameron though, almost full health, quite a lot of them, so they could be, uh, you know, still pretty aggressive here, but with the whole enemy team coming back, I think they're gonna wanna disengage. Looks like Set will be going in and will be getting rooted. Going in for those low kills, but it looks like Akali will punish Set. Lulu will get that kill onto Ivern. I think he was just setting up these kills, honestly, for his, for his team there, with Lulu finding that kill onto Jin and Ezreal finding a kill as well.
match. Looks like Cameron just getting some turrets here in the respawn. With the red team, you know, still respawning. It's going to give Cameron University some time, you know, to gain some more ground. And it looks like they're going to find another kill onto enemies' pike. And they're going to be able to destroy an inhibitor with, it looks like, Eco working on that bottom turret. Looks like Cameron University could definitely be taking this fight between, honestly, the next team fight. They could definitely be winning this game. They're already at 32 to 19, way ahead. If the enemy team really does want to come back, I mean, they might have some time, but they better be, you know, getting some team wipes. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. It looks like one of their turrets self-destructed, making Cameron University be in the lead here for turret kills by six. Enemy team still hasn't gotten any turret kills. Looks like Cameron University will also be ahead in gold production by 49.5k, and the enemy team will only have 35.8. Ahead in kills those as well, 32 to 19. Looks like Pike will get caught out, but he knows his Ivern is there to help if anything goes wrong. So Set and Azir go in for that kill, and it looks like Ezreal will finish off that kill onto Pike with Azir having to channel back at one health. Luckily, he did get out of that um, fight alive. He could have definitely gotten countered, and they definitely could have traded, but Ezreal coming in for that backup as well and getting that finishing kill off onto that Pike right before he was about to kill Azir. Looks like they do find out Akali as well as real with this set, you know, chasing her still all the way back into spawn. Aatrox back up top lane with Lulu still making sure to play as aggressively as possible. A few more hits onto that turret and that top turret will be down. Looks like Ivern does come in to help him out. Lulu's doing her best to escape here. She is 2v1ing. Nice job though on getting that turret down. Putting Cameron in the lead now by turret kills by seven. Enemy team again still at zero. They haven't been able to really do anything against Cameron. Looks like unfortunately Set will get rooted and pulled in and he might just get eaten by the enemy team as Rill is doing his best to get some damage off. Looks like Cameron will be taking that dragon in the meantime. Ezreal will be finding a kill onto Akali, and Ezreal will be getting a double kill onto Jin as well. It looks like Aatrox will find a kill, with Ezreal getting a triple kill and training for that Aatrox. Cameron University only had one loss from that team fight, not too bad when you think about it. They took four of the enemy teams. Looks like Ivern doing his best to run back in to spawn. As Cameron University is just griefing them, they could have definitely took that fight there and took that win, but Ivern getting a double kill, kind of a goofy play there by Cameron University, could have definitely won that game. But again, I mean, they're here to have fun. Hopefully won't be seeing that in finals. Both teams now 37 to 22. Came University still in the lead. Now with these kills, hopefully the enemy team can get maybe even one turret kill off because they've been having a hard time getting any. I mean, still at zero. Cameron University still at seven as well. And Cameron University ahead by 8k in gold production. It looks like Set Anazir will catch out Pike here. Uh, Lulu gets a nice polymorph onto him as well. Set chasing him after him. They really do want to get this kill onto Pike. Looks like his teammates did abandon him. They didn't want to get a double kill for uh, Cameron University. Looks like Pike will be on his own. He is doing his best to run away. And it looks like he's honestly <laughs> leading him on a wild goose chase, but ran right into that uh, enemy turret and just let Ezreal finish him off. Honestly, could have just, you know, let them to like kill him there it was already over he was just running into that turret might as well just stood still at that point looks like cameron will be going though for baron of four a colleague coming in too and unfortunately getting a butt whooping as it looks like they find two more kills here say getting that finishing kill onto that akali
Looks like those inhibitors will be spawning back soon, so Cameron University doing their best to get back into their spawn to hopefully end this team fight. And it looks like Ezreal will be finding out Jin first, so they could definitely be winning this. I mean, two still down here for the enemy team. Looks like Cameron will be trying to focus on those turrets and those inhibitors. Ivern's still there, doing his best to, you know, fight back, and it looks like they will find an inhibitor, but Pike will find Ezreal. Lulu will get Pike though, and get that trade-off. As Ivern's still doing his best to tank it, but it looks like he will also get shut down here. Another turret down here for the red team. Cameron University has eight turrets down, and it looks like Akali, Aatrox, and Jin will be the last ones alive. They will find that kill onto Aatrox. Jin and Akali doing their best to kind of salvage what they can. As Cameron University isn't really focusing on those turrets, still just focusing on those kills. Kind of playing the long game here as they get another kill onto Akali. Hopefully they don't throw this team fight and are able to get it. And it looks like they will destroy another turret. But Cameron decides to kind of move out here. They're all low health. They're doing their best to kind of play, you know, bottom right here and wait for the enemy team to come to them before they do anything. Looks like Cameron will be focusing on that inhibitor as well. The Pike and Ivern are back. Set could easily be killed here. He is caught out and stunned, and it looks like Pike will unfortunately punish him. And it looks like Jin will get a punishment as well on the Lulu. Jin as well. Pike doing his best to finish off Echo here. Echo and Ezreal, the last ones alive for Cameron, and unfortunately, they do get Echo. Not a complete team wipe with Ezreal still being alive. He is doing his best to fight back, and he does find Ivern in that process. Does get airborne and get some damage onto that ace box. He is one health, but it looks like Pike will get that ace, and they will get that team wipe onto Cameron University. I mean, another fight there where they could have definitely won but they did want to get more kills in my opinion and play that long game and hopefully in this next team fight they're going to decide to win the game i mean come on should be getting boring now they're absolutely pretty much dominating the enemy team they are 45 to 28 full production 53 57.3k enemy team 48 kind of not far behind 9k almost 10k ahead with cameron university taking down nine of the enemy team's turrets going on to that kill on Pike, but unfortunately find himself in between the entire enemy team as they're all just ganging up on him, airborne, rooted, airborne again. I mean, this is just sad. It looks like Eco will find a kill onto Ivern as well, with Azir doing his best here to help his set, and they will find a kill onto that Pike, but Aatrox will get that, that uh, trade-off as well, as Eco finds a kill off on Jin. And Ezreal does find that um, trade-off as well onto Aatrox. Looks like Set and Ezreal will be going for that dragon to help him in this last push to victory. I mean, come on. They've been absolutely team wiping the enemy team. Most of the enemy team's still in spawn, so they should have an easy time kind of going in here and getting these last few kills to get this victory. Nico right now just chasing Akali with Lulu not too far behind at his side and it looks like they will find that kill. Ivern though and Pike did respond so Echo could honestly be in trouble here as it looks like they will get that last turret down. All they have to do is get that next crystal nice polymorph onto that Pike and it looks like Lulu will help out to finish that kill off. Nexus Crystal already at half health, set doing his best to help out his team by also getting some damage onto that Nexus. Aatrox, Ivern, and Jin, the last one's alive. Looks like Jin already gave up here. He doesn't want to do it anymore. Ivern does get a kill off, but it looks like with that Nexus Crystal at one health, Cameron University will win that game. Kind of a goofy game this time. They definitely could have won way earlier, but they just, just decided to play it out and got that victory.